you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time hi everyone it's Melody Lane today I'm going to be showing you how to do the cascading flower pot card I have been asked many times to show how to put this together and if you see my soda cup card I didn't put this together absolutely correctly how they envisioned it to be together and one of my comments in my video let me know that I'm like oh now that's a great idea <laughs> because I had no directions I put the inside in the back which you could do it this way and I suggested putting a gift card inside but actually this piece goes on the inside I'm like just never thought of that to put it on the inside but look how cute that is with the bubbles sticking out so if you've missed this video I'll put a link to it up in the iCard at the top right of the screen you can click there anytime and all of the i cards will show up so there's that then you can put your sentiment on here or even glue a gift card to there so that is the soda cup card and that folks folds down like that this is perfect to give a gift card for the movies or dinner or McDonald's or you know something fun now to the video we're doing today let's put these pieces together first so this goes on top like that this piece this piece and these two pieces all go together they do not get attached to this so let's put this together I'm going to use Art glitter glue. I get this from MayMayMadeIt.com. Okay, we're going to put this right on top of that. And I put it on the wrong side. So it does matter which side you put it on. I was thinking it didn't matter. So make sure you do that correctly because it does not fit the other way. So it goes like that. And that is okay because this is going to be the back. One thing you just learned, don't make the make same mistakes I make. And then this goes on next. Before you glue things down, make sure they fit before you put the glue on. And we're going to cover up that green totally on the top. Actually, you could maybe not put glue on this here. And maybe have that stick out a little. I glued it to the green piece but pulled it off. So maybe don't put glue on that green piece right there. I think that is kind of cool. Sticking out like that. Let's make sure these fit and we put glue on the correct side there. So let's do one at a time. So pretty. That's for the ladybug and this is the inside piece from here so we don't need that. That was kind of easy. Let's do the ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. That goes right there. I think I'm only going to put glue on the front. Like the top. So maybe the wings can come out a little. So now we have these pieces. If you wanted to ink up the edges or anything, now would be the time to do it before you glue this on. If you wanted to add any shading to it or anything. You could also do it after it's put on, but I was thinking if you wanted to add it to here, you don't want to get it on the flowers. Make sure you glue it all the way to the edge on these. It'll look more real. Done with that piece. Did you guys realize how quick this card is? Okay, I know, we're not to the hard part yet. We'll get there. Right after this. And then this here is where you put the sentiments. 
You can stamp in there or you can have design space right in there. Okay, now we have these pieces. These pieces are not exactly the same, but they intertwine. So you're gonna take one set and go like that. Then we're gonna fold the other ones on the score line. This is gonna go over that. So you put the two cut lines together so they go like that. And then they're gonna fold like this. So we're gonna fold these in. And then, cause this one's on the top and this one's on the bottom, you're gonna drag this one on top so the two are touching together like this. And then this is a cascading card. So it goes like that. Okay, now we're gonna glue this onto the back of here. So that goes like that. The ladybug goes in the front. I could put it on a pop-up. I think I won't. Just put a little glue there. Pop up that ladybug. And how cool is that? Ooh. Oh, now what about these pieces? These go inside. I'm gonna stamp these in a second though. So you just set these inside like that. So it can stand up like this. Isn't that fun? And then you can pull it out with the sentiment. I'm gonna use the new stamp set from Oak Tree Stamps. I believe in. And I have this one and this one. These are all inspired by me. And then I also have this fairy I've already done. I stamped this and colored this in another video. I'll put a link to that video above in the art cards too. I think I want to attach it right there inside. <gasps> How cute is that? I'm going to use this from Thermoweb, some double-sided adhesive, and I'm going to put it, just put it right there on there, and stick her right there. How cute is that? So excited. Now we're going to use, I believe in, what should I do? I believe in family. Magic Dreams, You, Friends, Love, and I could also use I Believe in Sparkle. I'm going to put I Believe in You. And then I think I'm going to do I Believe in Friends on the other one. Okay, I'm going to use Fun Stampers Journey ink and my I Believe in You stamp. And I'm just using the black licorice because I'm putting this on colored paper. I'm not sure what color... The others will turn out to be so unless I was embossing it I'm just gonna use black how cool is that love this if you want the stamp set you better hurry because they're starting to sell out they just became available yesterday okay so now I'm gonna do I believe in friends I'm not sure what size I cut this out at because it's just a file that Cricut did and I just sized it. I'll go ahead and share this, my file in the description below. All I did was size it. I didn't really change anything on this file. But I know a lot of people have trouble with sizing. There, I believe in friends. So this is gonna go first and then this one. So this will go here. I believe in you. Now if you're sending this away to somebody, you might wanna tell them to pull out the flowers in the pot because that's where the sentiment is. How cute is that? Oh, but we're not done. Let's add some bling. I get this from Michael's. Let's put these big ones up here and these little circles. And they go on sale. Never buy them unless they're on sale or you have a coupon or it's an emergency and you really need them. Let's add a few more. Because I just can't stop. Look at how cute that is. I love it. And I want to put some on these flowers. Time to get out the quick stick. Over. Get on there. This will help lift it up. 
so you don't have to use your fingers and push it down. It makes it so much easier. This is by We Are Memory Keepers, but other brands make them also. And there's one behind the fairy. I could just pull it out, but I think I can get it. There we go. So cute. Okay, we need tiny little eyes on the ladybug. Oh my goodness. There. Now when you have it sitting up, isn't this the cutest card? I love it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the likes and comments on the videos, and I will see you in the next one. But first, here's a shout out to a few of the people who get perks for supporting me on Patreon. Kay, Charlotte, Goldie, Leslie, Tracy, Shelly, Sharon, Brugetta, Gracie, Grace, Linda, Ellen, Kelly, Angela, Deidre, Kimberly, Adrian, Dorothy, Fran, Janet, Alina, Terry, Debbie, Nancy, and Clara. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.